welcome to today's video. It's only six degrees outside. We are rushing to the barn to warm our ponies up. Even our girls were like, let's get out of this field. They were cold and wet and they're in the arena now and it's so much warmer and they're getting warm and it's almost time to put blankets on. Finn and Chino and Storm are all gonna get blankets today on and keep them warm. The only problem is, is that I don't like them stuck in a barn at night where it's warm with a blanket on. Like, I think as a society that we blanket our horses to the point where they are overheated more than they're over cold. Horses know how to keep themselves warm. They know how to get into a shelter if they really are cold. They know how to like, they know how to do this stuff, but because we care about them so much and we domesticate them so much and we overdo it so much, we, I feel, tell me, tell me, tell me guys, tell me in the comments below, am I overreacting? Like, I don't wanna over blanket our horses. Today they are getting their blankets on and that means we have to go back on a time when it's not our normal time to go to the barn to take off their blankets then we're just gonna have to do it. But yeah, we're going, it's cold, it's so cold, six degrees, my hands be cold. Anyway, welcome to today. Today is a brand new day. Go out there and see what God has planned for you today is a new season, a new, it'll be snowing soon. When's the snow coming? Soon. Soon, it snows coming soon. Anyway, I just want you guys to know that I'm thinking about you guys. I'm praying for you guys because I know that everybody has a story, everybody has problems, everybody is struggling, and I just want you guys to know that there's so much good out there too, so focus on the good, focus on the good, I'm praying for you guys for the good, and we'll see you guys at the barn. Good thing it's cold out, because it is rainy and wet and yuck out here, so we will not be riding out here. We've got the Gabby getting out, we've got the Sophie putting on her boots, it is boot time. Hey look, you actually brought your boots. I brought my boots. All the fall, fall flowers are about to die, even ours. Every time we're away for like a weekend, it feels like we've been gone for so long. It makes me feel like, I, ooh, I missed them. No, you go get them. You have to go with me. No, I'm getting blankets out so that we can put them on when they're done. This is Finny boy. Ugh. Oh, they're wearing rain sheets? Yep, they are. Oh, they're wearing Finn, go get you your horse. Go oh my goodness. See? See what it's like? This is just enough heat to keep them warm. I have no idea where Chino's blanket. Where's Chino's blanket? Okay, bring it out because these guys are getting it on. Like our girls wanted to leave today and get out of the field. So that's how yeah, you know Willow how Willow walked up to me. Willow walked up to her. Penny ran for me a couple of times, but yeah. Maybe someone will I'm hoping to ride today. And I want to start riding outside now. High horses, they all got blankets be on. Slippery. Not our beautiful horses. So if you always be thinking about the easiest way. Jump! That's what happens. When you have long legs, you can get through anything. I have to be more careful because it's a woman. Yeah, I need to get new boots for you. No, I just need one new boot. Yeah, one new boot. Alright, Chino be missing. Chino knows. So if he takes a long way around, Gabby goes right through the mud. Are you going right through the mud, Gabby? No, Gabby's going around too. We see Finn, but there is no Chino to be found. Get moving, hurry up, because Laura will be frozen. <laughs> Gabby called his name and he poked, and all the horses poked their head up, but he's not there. That is scary. I see a lot of bays in there though. No, he's got to be here. There are the turkeys. Yeah, I took the muddy way. And I, no, I don't see anybody. But turkeys, they're so cute. He wants to be in that field. Yeah, because that's his boyfriend. Because it's, all right, we're, we're in trouble. Our horse is missing. All right, Gabby, get looking for your horse, sister. Come on. Come on! We, all of a sudden, he just comes out of the out of the field. Is that Donnie? He comes out of the. He just comes running down the hill. Runs right past us. 
Yeah, so the reason that our horses don't have blankets on yet, like, is because uh, it's not even, like, it's still a lot above zero, enough above zero, and because they go in at night. I feel like I have to defend myself because everybody else puts blankets on, and I don't want to ever get in a situation where our horses are dying from heat because we can't get here. Psych! <laughs> He's like, I heard you come in and there's a horse following me, so I'm taking the muddy way. So he heard, he's like, psych, I heard you come in. I'll just meet you at the gate. Did you come back to help us? No, I called dad so you can help stay in. I heard yelling and then I saw Chino trotting. Trotting, you trotter. We brought you a blanket to get you warm, okay? And we're hoping that you can ride today a little, build up again. He looks like he was stepping in mud and he didn't like the mud. We're hoping he's got two shoes. He probably was hiding because he's like, oh, I took off my shoes. I've got two. She's one. We got two. We got two. We got two shoes. It's amazing the things that make you happy when you're a horse owner. I would not regret. Uh oh. I would not regret being a horse owner ever. Like, even if we had no trainers, even if we just were farm people, even if we had no YouTube channel. I just love that we have them. Like, it's been such a crazy, exciting, wild journey. Expensive. Yeah. I'm just gonna get his feet so mm -hmm. I don't have to touch. Where's Gabby going? Oh my she gosh. She needs a running start. This is not gonna go well. No, you do it, sister. Go, 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 go. Go. Chino's waiting. Hurry up. Everybody's waiting to see Cappy fall. Woohoo! She slides. She slides. Gabby, do you have nice, clean, fresh boots ready for you no. at, the, at the door? Yes, you do. I got them ready. Always an adventure catching your horse. Always. What would we do if it was a boring routine catching your horse? Like, what fun in life do you have? We were going to walk. Oh, he ran. Yeah, he was off with some friend. Away. He does not, he's not in the whole herd. He just goes off with his friends. He's he tried a, to bite me again. I took him away from his friends. He tried to bite you? Well, like, he tries to kiss me and then he bites me. Mm. He tries All right, get moving. Very bouncy, though. All right, so we have a change of plans. We're just waiting to see if Brandon will figure, if Brandon can figure it out. We decided to take Finn for lessons at the other barn, get him out, get him doing stuff because we're hoping to do a show this weekend. So Sophie's just warming him up, giving him I back massage. And now you don't want to ride Storm? I don't want to ride Storm. Are you going to ride anybody? No. Oh my gosh. And Gabby doesn't want to ride, but she's going to ride Chino today and see I how he's doing. She can't make up her mind about it. She can't make up her mind. I think so I'll make up I your mind. Okay, so this is my winter time with Finny. Wait. I picked the right spot. And he scratches me. He's smelling my pockets for treats. If you have any aches and pains, you just come to the chiropractic school of Finn. Even the weight of his head feels so good. He just lays there on me. I don't know. I don't know if that's his I teeth. I find an itchy spot. Is it his teeth? I feel something sharp. No. He never bites me, though. All I have to do <laughs> is go like this. No, open your mouth. He's like, I will scratch you, Sophie. <laughs> He's like, you're too short. I will smell you. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to video you, but I have a purple beast in front of me. I'm trying to video for you, but I have a purple beast who's trying to eat me. <laughs> Look at me. Stop. <laughs> what the heck? Finn got bad. You got bad, Finn. We need to work with you more. All right, let's see. So Gabby's up there. She'll be walking and seeing how Chino is. I'm going to take a video and send it to our trainers. What did Gabby just say? Did you just say your stirrups might be a little long? Her stirrups are a little long. You guys, she said it. She, she said the magic word. 
no every time like at our last lesson would you guys oh yeah you guys did see brandon looked over and said did you shorten your stirrups and she said just one hole it's hard for a hunter girl to shorten her stir or to lengthen her stirrups it's just a hard thing listen it's also a hard thing not to lick me why are you looking at me why are you looking at me why are you looking at me? Even if your hand tastes like treats. Yeah, well, I feel like there's like so much licking that happens, and then all of a sudden. Okay, take this horse away from me. This horse would be driving me bonkers. We're just walking around. Gabby did it. Now Sophie's doing it. Gabby's giving Finny some lessons on rude and needs Gabby the most. Probably because you guys don't do what I do. I know. We're too soft hearted. Sometimes it's good to work with other people's ponies. Okay. Don't go there. Look at I, I ate an apple while Hold we were on. here. Hold on. Put the cross ties on. Put the cross ties on and you're gonna get a nice warm blanket on. He's gonna take it whole. It's a good. Is it worth it? Worth it walking around a little? Hey. Eh? Exercise He's is trotting. never worth it. He was trotting around. Do you know you're not gonna... Wow, that wasn't horrible. No, Annie is like a superhero. Normally, I hit the light, hit myself, take I... everything away. I hate black blankets on black horses, though. You be fancy. Also, he's the one with the bigger neck because he always gets rubbed on his litter. Yeah. Because yeah, of his big Oh, we have to stop home and I have to get short storm stuff. I'm gonna fix that so I can walk her up in the front. It's All right, a new blanket for storm. So that I can put it all the way. Yeah. It's surprising because he normally fits in 84. Yeah, he sometimes fits in 84. This is the 82. I have already nose now. Look at those cool. ears. He's like, what is happening? He's happy. He's like, oh, thank goodness they bring me my blanket. <laughs> Finny is not happy. All right. Bye, purple bandit. You did not walk very purposefully. We are super behind in posting videos because we had so much stuff that we did this past weekend. And this weekend coming up soon, hopefully we're gonna have some more new fun stuff we've been doing that we're gonna do with Kaylee and maybe Elizabeth too. Uh, no, cause it's a school night, it's gonna be too late. So she won't come. <laughs> so anyways, um, uh, so you'll see this video like coming up soon. So like, well, I think we have two videos before this one, so on the next three nights, you'll see this video, hopefully. But, basically, we're taking Finny for a ride at the other barn, at Brandon's barn. Taking him out, taking him for a fun ride. And you guys saw he didn't want to get on the trailer, and it got me figured it out, because she'd be good like that. And what happened was that he's so used to loading on the side door, because that's his own little door, he owns his own little spot. And he's not used no, to going no, in the back. No, 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 no. What? He's used to Chino getting on and him getting on the other side. So he's waiting for Chino to go on. So he doesn't want to go on without Chino. Because he's like, ah, oh, by myself. Scary. But when we load him in on the side, we normally have that front door closed. So no horse can bite him in the butt. So he thinks that he's getting on alone most of the time. So that's why he's used to that. Yeah, just that. But exactly what Gabby said. There, so he thinks that there's going to be other yeah, so anyways, Gabby got him on really quick, and we're headed out to the other barn, and we're gonna see you guys there in just a few minutes, but Chino seems to be, like, starting to get back to normal. He's doing better. He's doing better. Hopefully he's doing better. So, we're at the other barn, and I see a horse in the shelter. Do you see a horse in the shelter, Gabby? Yeah. And I do not see Storm around the hay bale, so I know it's him, and I forgot his blanket. I forgot his blanket. I'm so disappointed in myself. I'm gonna have to bring it tomorrow. <sighs> Makes me mad. But anyways, um, we're headed in. It's raining. That's why Storm's in the shelter. I'm so proud of him to stay in the shelter. He knows how to stay warm. But anyway, we're going in and see Sophie ride her boy here at Brennan's barn. Nerve wracking. All right, so Sophie's already in. And the door is still open. Brandon, close that door. It's so cold. So I'm sitting over here. Usually I sit over there, but no way. 
So if Benny is here, and we're gonna do a little lesson and some jumping stuff and hopefully get ready for the show. Just keep walking. Don't be worried, your, your buddy's here. So you know she's being good. I feel so bad, I forgot Storm's blanket. So, so, so bad. Because he's out there stuck in the shelter. Storm's in the shelter, did you see him? Stuck there in, yeah. I mean, it's good for him to be in there, but he'd probably rather be out nice and warm with a blanket. So I'm gonna come in the morning and put it on him. I told Brandon, he said, yeah, no problem. Mom, quick, open the door. <laughs> is he ready to pee? Yeah. Oh no. Ah! Oh, <laughs> this is a nice barn door. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Goodbye, reserve champion boy. It's pouring rain, I'm not going out there. <laughs> He'll have to pee in the, in the trailer. Do you think Echo and Storm are not letting the other guy in the shelter? We love you, Stormy Night. We'll be back in the morning, okay, with your blanket? I promise, don't come out. Stay there, stay warm. We love you. So, so we had a life-changing lesson. Absolutely life-changing. Everything's happening all at once. So Sophie, Brandon even said, like two years you've been riding this horse and you finally are figuring it out. And sometimes that's what happens. Like, same thing happens. Like, no child just suddenly gets on a horse and rides beautifully and perfectly. It's always a process, always. And it takes time and it's developmental. And Sophie's doing what most 12 year olds are capable of doing, but the same things maybe aren't as easy for like a 10 year old or an eight year old. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a process, Sophie's finally getting there. And I don't want to wish away all the stuff that she's learned. Like, she learned a lot throughout her whole entire riding career. And her and Finn have grown and changed a lot on their own. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just